there's still a little hope uh, from Roland and from Sam and from Phil uh, that, you know, kind of, you know, give me that little support, but yet stand back because they don't trust me because I just want to take out their friend. I would love to start with Phil. I feel like in watching the show, you were a little bit of a sleeper in the edit. I feel like you kind of came out as this great player a little further through the season. And I was wondering, did that feel like strategy on your part? Were you trying to lay low or is that just kind of what I ended up seeing? I don't know if I was like laying low as a strategy specifically. Like my kind of thing going in was I wanted to meet as many people as possible. I wanted to hear everyone's stories, you know, get to know so many people before, you know, they or myself get eliminated. And so, you know, in the background, you see me like talking to pretty much every group, everybody kind of hanging out and stuff. Um, and so definitely, I guess not immediately volunteering myself for things was in a way a strategy um, because I feel like it bit a lot of people in the butt because um, I feel like some people were just so eager just to you know do something to try to change their fate. And I feel like a lot of times you really don't have that much control over what happens. And so I feel like accepting that and kind of keeping a calm head is what moved me forward. But when I didn't get interviews for like the first two weeks that we were there, I was literally thinking like they're going to regret this because they're not going to have any content of me in the first half of the season. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, I, I saw... One of my favorite things that you said in the show was that you were trying to play in a way that you could be proud of in the outside world. And I feel like we saw glimpses of that when, for instance, in Circle of Trust, nobody gave you a box or anything. You kind of just got through that. Looking back, how are you feeling about your gameplay in general? I'm so proud. Like a lot of people are gonna see Circle of Trust and see that I just skated through, but luck was I didn't get my ball drawn, but I still was at risk every single round and my gift, my desk never saw the gift slash coffin. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it felt really good to know that people knew they could trust me and they knew that I wasn't a malicious character. So they didn't feel like they needed to get rid of me. It made me feel really good. And my, I loved watching you play. I felt like you had so many fantastic moves. But something that was so interesting to me about the show is how everyone was trying to be as supportive and fair as possible. Uh, when you're in a position where you're willing to kind of take out Roland or, or do something like that, did the atmosphere of, of support make things harder for you or, or easier as someone who wants to play like a hard game? I think the, the support has uh, diminished when I you know, selected Ashley, um, but at the same time, there's still a little hope uh, from Roland and from Sam and from Phil uh, that, you know, kind of, you know, give me that little support, but yet stand back because they don't trust me because I just want to take out their friend. And so um, uh, it, it, was, uh, it was hard, you know, because you have to, you know, put on your game face and you have to be, you know, to, to show uh, that, you know, you, you're not vulnerable because, you know, your, 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 your friend has been taken out or something like that. You have to stay strong. This is my last one for you. It's, I don't know who won, so congratulations to one of you. Uh, but presuming, you know, in a world where all of you had won, what's the dumbest thing you're buying with the money? I'm buying a Volkswagen bus, the new electric one, and I'm filling it with dogs. <laughs> okay. I'm buying a second shower head. Always wanted one. <laughs> oh, well done. Uh, Maya, what about you? The splurge I would do is uh, we're going to build a dock because uh, we live by the water. Mm -hmm. So we're going to build a dock. Awesome. Well, thank you all so much. Congratulations on everything. Thanks thank so much you. For having us. Thank you.